Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And today I am so excited because yes, I am doing another Page Habit unboxing, which is my favorite book subscription box. And last week, I got out of my car and the postman like handed me this box, and I thought it was my Page Habit box, but it wasn't. It was a different subscription box, which is a really fun one too, but it's not just books and stuff. So go check it out, it's up on my channel. And um, But today is a Page Habit unboxing. And I have to say, this is my favorite book subscription box. And no, I'm not just saying that because I'm a brand ambassador for Page Habit, which I am, which means that I have an affiliate link code below that if you go purchase um, your first box or a box with um, my little code, you get a discount and all that kind of stuff. So you should probably go buy one and at least try it for one month and use my code because then it'll let Page Habit know that basically I am the salesman of the world. So anyway, it's all linked below. Um, I think it's $5 off uh, your first order or shipping and handling if it's international. I don't know. So anyway, go check it out below. It's all linked below. Everything's in the description box that you would ever need to know, right? So go check it out. Um, but the reason I really like Page Habit, honestly, I mean, honest moment here, and not because I'm a brand ambassador and I'm paid to say that, because I'm not paid to say that. So anyway, is that um, you can change the genre of book that you want to get whenever, every month, every six months, every two months, or whatever. I have never been disappointed in a book that I have gotten yet, honest to God, okay? And um, I've been doing the young adult box forever because you guys know I love young adult books. But this month, I changed it, and I changed it to the horror genre. And um, the horror genre, I don't want to get demonetized. Okay, the horror genre. And you guys know that I love reading horror novels and suspense and things like that. In fact, on my book club that we're doing right now, we are reading My Sweet Audrina by V.C. Andrews. I already finished it. It was creepy, creepy, creepy. So anyway, um... But, uh, so I changed my Page Habit subscription this month, and I changed it from young adult to horror, horror, and it was really simple to do. There's also literary fiction, science fiction, romance, there's all kinds of, there's like eight different ones. I'll tell you what they are when we get in here, because it lists them on there. Um, but it's really easy to go in there and change your subscription at any time. So should we open this? Now, all I have done is cut the slit at the bottom of it, so I am ready to open my Page Habit box and see the secrets inside. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Did you guys love that show back in the day? Okay. Behind door number one is your page habit box. Snap, give, and read. And one of the things I love about any kind of subscription box, but really any business in general, is when they give back. And I think it's really awesome. And I talk about this every time I do one of these, right? Post a picture of your unboxing with the hashtag MyPageHabit tag, and we will donate another book to a child without access. And it'll go in here and it'll talk about the money that they donate. And they usually donate to uh, like an African school. So it usually is the same one. But if it isn't, I will go in there and talk about it. So now I don't read the little note yet because that's usually from the author and I, I want to be surprised. So, um, oh my Lord, I'm going to, uh, okay. So anyway, here is this month's picks. <laughs> so I'm covering my title so I can't see what it is. So science fiction is Blackfish City. Young adult is, I can't read what it says. Um, historical fiction, romance, literary fiction, fantasy, and mystery. So there's eight different genres. Oh, horror. There's eight different genres that you can buy from. Join our referral program. It's easy. Just log into your account. Visit your referral dashboard and share your unique link. For every friend that signs up, you'll receive $10, and they'll get $10 off their first box. See? So you should go do it and join the referral program. It's very awesome. For the month of April 2018, Page Habit has chosen to partner with Books for Africa to donate books to Burundi. And I read all about this last month on on uh, my page habit unboxing so go check out that video as well I'll link it at the end if you guys want to see another unboxing because they're pretty cool aren't they they're pretty cool okay so the first thing that I got now I love that they give um, bookmarks in here the first thing that they gave me was this ah the laminated bookmark I love laminated bookmarks and um it says a little quote on the other side by Victor Hugo. To learn to read is to light a fire. Every syllable that is spelled out is a spark. Well, let's read that again. I didn't read that right. To learn to read is to light a fire. Every syllable that is spelled out is a spark. <laughs> I still didn't read it well. But anyway, Victor, you get it. Okay. So you get the little uh, bookmark. And then, oh my God, you get these socks that say books, 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 books. Now, if you've watched any of my favorites videos on my main channel, you will know, or my vlog, that I love any kind of fun socks. So, a lot of times with these boxes, I give some of the stuff away, um, like to my friends and people, but I'm keeping these. These are mine. So, my best friend, Tanya, keep your paws off. Okay. So, then the next thing is, I'm trying not to look at the book. 
Calling all writers, your book could be in our next box. Page Habit is currently taking submissions for original content to be published, and we want to hear from the Page Habit community. Visit, and then you can go check it out right there, pagehabit.com, hashtag submit. So if you have a book out there that you would like to be published by Page Habit and put into a box, why not? Go check it out. I don't know if it'll be in the box, but they might publish you. So go check it out. Okay, and then the next thing, I'm trying not to see the book. Um, this might be the book that I'm, oh, no, it's not. Ghosts by Lily Bollinger. And this is, um, a, and then on the back, Wind by Lily Bollinger. I don't know if this is why this is in here. It's a poem. When I was a little girl, I feared something dead stood in the dark. Me too. And watched me with invisible eyes. I feared I'd ask a question and the light would flicker in response. When I was a little girl, I was afraid of ghosts. Now I feel the darkness is empty. Me too. I fear I'll beg to feel your presence and I won't feel a thing. I'm afraid there's no such things as ghosts. Only you and your bitter touch. No, that wasn't in there, but that would have been good. I added that part at the end. I'm basically a poet. Okay. Oh, wait. There's one other thing in here. So, oh, look at this. I love this. It's a little eraser with a pencil on it. Oh, my God. That is so cute. I'll probably give that to my friend uh, Erin, her daughter Maddie, that's been in some of my videos because she loves stuff like that. Okay. So, the book that we're going to read this month is, and they always put annotation, annotations in here by the author, which I love. Unbury Carol, a novel by Josh Mailerman. Okay, now I have not heard of this book. I don't know anything about this book. But there is a um, little letter. So you get a letter at the beginning of every box. And here it is. Hello, everyone. It's really written like that. Hello, everyone. Okay. I'm thrilled to present to you Unbury Carol, the story of an impending premature burial and the two... Okay, this is... Okay, honest to God, being buried alive is like one of my biggest fears ever. I'm terrified of it. Did y'all watch Wentworth? Okay. The story of an impending premature burial and two badly crippled outlaws, one by the way of his legs and the other by way of guilt. In the pages you will find deceit, magic, attempted absolution, anxiety, and the cold, endless dark of Howltown. You, Boo Radley, he's like... My dog, Boo Radley, over here, he is like, that is too much. I am already scared. You will also meet characters who either rise above such elements or else get buried forever beneath them. Oh, I don't know that I like that. Moxie, Moxie, Moxie Mail. Welcome to the Mad Cat Trail. Josh Mailerman. I, ah, oh, little poem out there. If that, if that does some Candyman stuff up in, the, up, up in the mirror that I just read that Moxie thing, I am not going to be happy with you. Okay. So, then there's this post-it note on the book. And it says, look inside for my annotations, Josh Mallerman. Okay, so every book has these, like, annotations inside of it. Do you see? Okay. And then it, like, has little notes. And so we'll go to the very first one. It's on, like, page one. And it says, I want to write an entire book about John Bowie. I don't know who that is. And it, it's not David Bowie's brother, though, that's for sure. And it doesn't have to take place when he's alive, either. Or does it? Okay. So that's cute, I guess. All right. Carol Evers is a woman with a dark secret. She has died many times, but her, my friend Tanya is going to love this book, I can tell you. She loves these epic timepiece things. Okay. But her many zests are not final. They are comas, a waking slumber indistinguishable from death each lasting days. Only two people know of Carol's eerie condition. One is her husband, Dwight, whom I, I don't like that name, Dwight. Do you ever read a book and you don't like the character name in it? So he might, I hope he's real unlikable because I don't like that name. Okay. One is her husband, Dwight, who married Carol for her fortune. See, I already don't like him. Anyway, when she lapses uh, in her fortune and when she lapses into another coma, plots to seize it by proclaiming her dead and quickly burying her alive. See, I told you I didn't like Dwight. The other is her lost love, the infamous outlaw James Moxie. When word of Carol's dreadful, fa dreadful fate reaches him, Moxie rides the trail again to save his beloved from an earth. Now I like that name. Okay, James Moxie. And all the while, awake and aware, Carol fights to free herself from the crippling darkness that binds her, summoning her own fierce will to survive as the players in this drama of life and death fight to decide her fate. Carol must end the, end the end battle to save herself. We must all rise above. It doesn't say that. The haunting story of a woman literally bringing herself back from the dead, unburied Carol, is a twisted take on the Sleeping Beauty fairy tale that will stay with you long after you've turned the final page. I cannot wait to read this book. <laughs> yeah. I love a good retelling, though, okay? Now we've turned Sleeping Beauty into some outlaws and unburied dead, okay? I love that. Oh, oh hey, he's handsome. Okay. Josh Mailerman is an internationally best-selling Bram Stoker Award-nominated American author and the lead singer for the rock band The High Strung. Well, ain't you something? Mailerman, 
<laughs> Mailerman for I sometimes surprise myself, I really do. Mailerman first started writing in the fifth grade with stories of a space traveling dog. You maybe should have printed those out, I don't know. Since then, he has written several unpublished novels and his debut novel, Bird Box. <gasps> I just got that book! Oh my god, on Audible! I swear to god, I am a psychic. Everybody has been telling me to read Bird Box. I can't believe I just got a second book. Okay. And his debut novel, Bird Box, was published in the United States and the United Kingdom to much critical acclaim. And then here it also says that you can go follow him on Facebook, Twitter, and the Instagram. Okay, I love the Instagram so much. Do y'all like the Instagram? It's fun, isn't it? Okay, I'm on the Instagram. Go check me out. But anyway, here he is. Isn't he handsome? Very handsome. I... The handsomer the writer, the handsomer. The more handsome the author, like that Sylvain Nouvelle that wrote Sleeping Giants. Oh my God. There are so many authors out there that I have crushes on. Do y'all get crushes on authors? So anyway, oh, <laughs> I can't say. Sean David Hutchinson. So anyway, um, this is not, this has turned into something that's not an unboxing. I don't know. But go check this out. Here you go. Y'all need to go buy it because I said... And because I'm a page habit uh, ambassador and that makes it all the better. And then you want to go here and then like my, I always say in all my videos, my mom said on Christmas you have to display, display all your presents. So there it is. Page habit. See so if you take a little picture like that and then you put it on your Snapchat or you put it on your Instagram or whatever, then a child without access will get a book. And I think that's real nice. So anyway, go check it out. The links are below. You get $5 off your very first order with my code. I think it's Peter. And um, but international, you get, I think it's like... $5 off shipping in the United States. $5 off your first order internationally. Anyway, I love you guys. Go check it out, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.